Yo, what is good, peasants? My name is JB, and I am back here today with my week seven <laughs> team builder and battle video here in the UPA. This week we are taking on our boy Mid Pokemon Master, one of my absolute best friends on the internet. So definitely go check him out and show him some love on his videos. Subscribe over there and whatnot. And if you're not uh, subscribed here, definitely uh, go ahead and click that button. Would definitely very much appreciate that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go over his team real quick. You can see he has the Aromatis, G Max Flapple, Flareon, Gashardon, Grimstone, Mew, Noctile, Porygon Z, Scolipede, Surfetch, and Stack Attacka. So a very uh, interesting team in the fact that he has a lot of so setup opportunities just all over the place. Um, and dual screens to go along with that with a great setter in you and also a good potential setter in Aromatis. He also has a very prominent Trick Room element to his team as well with Aromatis and Stack Attacka. Surfetch also being able to abuse uh, Trick Room somewhat well and even potentially like an Office of Gastrodon or Flareon could also um, do work inside of Trick Room. And then uh, he has stuff like Scolipede, Porygon Z, um, Flapple, and even Mew that can be just offensive fast setup threat. So gr a very, very terrifying team. And all these Pokemon can just also be ran uh, defensively and bulky as well. And just a lot of support, a lot of like uh, just variety in what he could do with this team. So uh, pretty scary squad all around. So definitely gonna have this one. And uh, wait, what am I, what was I gonna say? Definitely gonna be tough for us to pull this one out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go over uh, the team that we are bringing. Thankfully, one Pokemon has an absolutely unbelievable matchup this game, and that is our boy Manny the Mamoswine. He has an unreal matchup here. I should probably nope, that's not what I meant to do. How bad did I mess everything up? Not too bad. There we go. Then you guys can't see what's next, even though you totally saw the entire team already, and I'm not editing. So, uh, first up, we have Manny, who has an absolutely unbelievable matchup. We have Earthquake, Iron Head, Icicle Crash, and Freeze Dry. We have uh, 180 speed with a hasty nature with 220 attack and 108 spin F, or special attack rather. The special attack allows us to one shot physically defensive Gastrodon with Freeze Dry. The speed is for um probably oh yeah it's just for flapple so if he's not like scarf flapple or plus one flapple we will be able to outspeed that thing and hit it with a uh you know times four effective icicle crash iron head helps us hit the aromatis as well as the grimstarl and then earthquake is earthquake so pretty self-explanatory he does not switch into this pokemon at all he gets absolutely destroyed by it so definitely going to uh try to keep this thing healthy as long as possible and really just get it in so it can click a button and get a kill it was pretty much anytime it comes in he's forced to take a lot of damage on something so definitely a phenomenal matchup for our boy manny here next up we have ruby roserade with a choice scarf we have leaf storm uh sludge bomb extra sensory and giga drain with max speed max special attack with a timid nature which allows us to speed tie with what Porygon Z. So if he wants to be a Scarf Porygon Z for whatever reason, which he could be, but I think, uh, you know, Agility Nasty Potter, just one of those two is just a little bit better this game. Uh, either way, I just felt like it would be uh, worth speed time with that thing just in case. But um, yeah, it, it's another just Pokemon that has a really solid offensive matchup here. Poison uh, Spam is actually really, really nice. He has uh, two fairies uh, and a grass type as his G-Max, and his only resists to Poison are Scolipede and Stack Attacka. Neither of which want to take Leaf Storm and Extra Sensory, respectively. So, um, yeah, just a decent offensive matchup. And, you know, yeah, it's really hard to switch into Leaf Storms and Sludge Bombs late game if um, I position Resurrect correctly, which, you know what I mean? Probably not going to happen, but who knows? I'm, uh, I am on a gigantic losing streak. So, uh, hopefully, we can break that here. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, not, not looking too likely. Uh, next up, we have Wellington our uh buzzwool with close combat leech life uh poison jab and earthquake 244 attack 92 spin f and 172 speed with an adamant nature that speed allows us to out speed 79 speed um probably max speed grimstone if he wanted to be offensive or flareon one of the two might have been Flareon. I don't remember, man. It's been a minute since I built this team, so I could not tell you what we were trying to speed. Uh, with the Assault Vest and Spin F, I know, lets us live a uh, Specs Mew Psychic, I'm pretty sure. Just what the count for that is, if I'm not mistaken. Might also be a Choice Specs Tri-Attack. One of those two things is what we are count to live. 
Uh, close combat does a lot of damage to a lot of things that basically isn't aromatis. Everything else is taking a lot from close combat, except for Mew and aromatis. Uh, everything else on this team is taking a lot. Like, uh, Skull Pete doesn't want to take that, despite technically being a resist. So, uh, we also have Leech Life to hit the Mew, as well as Stab, as well as Recovery, Poison Jab for aromatis, and Grim Snarl because, I mean, probably be better off clicking Poison Jab against, um, I'm sorry, would we though? Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure we would. I'm uh, doing math in my head. And then Earthquake is just the last move. There wasn't really a great last move to put, so I just went with Earthquake because it's, I don't know, it's Earthquake. It wasn't really anything that gave us a uh, better coverage versus like everything. Because I'm not saying in versus not tell, so I didn't really feel the need to run uh, Ice or Thunder Punch because it didn't hit anything other than not tell. And Leech Life does a lot to um, Flapple, so yeah. Probably should have ran Ice Punch, but get in, so whatever. Next up we have Beef, so we got Beef Volley to the team that was not intentional, but it ended up being intentional. Anyway, we have a Choice Man with Sturdy, we have Head Smash, uh, Heavy Slam, Earthquake, and Ice Punch. I was originally Rockhead on this, but then I realized, yeah, maybe Sturdy's just better, so I went with Sturdy. I don't, I don't really have a reason for it, I just like, it was like one of those gut things, like, I was, I was, um, you know, putting it in the, uh, in the chat where, um, we, we sent it off to be legally bred. And I was like, like, maybe we just go sturdy. And I was like, yeah, I'll go sturdy. But anyway, um, it's got a pretty damn phenomenal offensive matchup. Once again, pretty weird EV spread. 92 HP, 28 attack with an atom of nature, 252 defense, four speed and 132 speed. So really crazy EV spread. I could not tell you what it was meant to do. Absolutely could not tell you. I think I live one earthquake from Scolipede, from Life Orb, Adam and Scolipede, which is why I was originally um not sturdy but then i just went with sturdy anyway so kind of made that calc irrelevant i think that's what i live sounds right could be entirely wrong but uh head smash again is just super super spammable here his resists are um gastrodon and that's it stack attack is neutral versus but it's not gonna do anything to stack attack obviously but um surf fetch just taking a lot from head smash just banded head smash bro from an agron even though I don't have a lot of attack investment, I am still banded. Like, that's going to do a lot to everything that isn't gastrodon on stack attacka. So pretty uh, spammable. Heavy Slam also doesn't have a lot of great resistances to that. So that's a pretty free button to click most of the time. Earthquake, decent for stack attacker. So we actually have something to hit that. And then Ice Punch for the Flapple if we're in in front of that and to attack it. Next up, we got ourselves Nosebeard as a Tapu Koko with an Expert Belt. We got uh, Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, Grass Knot, and U-Turn. Fun fact, modest choice specs freaking grass nut does not oko his but gastrodon because gastrodon is not fat for some reason uh, it's fat but it's not heavy makes no sense to me so we just ran extra belt instead um thunderbolt doesn't really hit anything super effectively outside of knockdown which we're one shotting anyway so doesn't really matter there but uh dazzling gleam has a chance to uh oko flapple when it's gmax it, or it's either a guarantee to a ko always when it's gmax or has a chance to oko don't really remember which and then U-turn is just U-turn for pivoting. It's a Coco. It's just an offensive Coco. Not a whole lot to see here. Speed for um, Jolly Snowlipede, probably. Yeah, sounds right. And then last, we got Boots with the Fur. Our Incineroar. Of course, rocking Heavy Duty Boots with Darkest Larry, Flare Blitz, Earthquake, and Parting Shot. Uh, 244 HP. Not really sure why I did that when we have Boots, because it, it literally does not matter for anything other than Rocks, Odd HP Number, or Entry Hazards, anyway. Don't know, don't know why I did that, um, but I did. 4 attack, 60 defense, um, 124 spadef with a careful nature, and 76 speed, which is probably just creeping some sort of creep. Might be for Grim Snarl. I don't know, dude. I don't remember my speed creeps uh, in like five minutes after I build my team. So I should probably start taking notes again, but listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that back yet, okay? I'm getting back to actually, you know, recording team builders and whatnot, but we're not back to taking notes and doing slides and all that shit again, man. It's just too much for three minutes. It's just too much. So, that's the team. I'll see you guys in the game right about now. Oakley Dokley, we're playing Mr. Um, Medithin, the Pokey, the Pocket Master. I don't know, dude. We're playing mid. Um, you guys know mid. You guys love mid. We all love mid. Uh, so, he brings a Surf Edge. Put Sir, Mew, Me, uh, Gastro, Disgusting. Uh, what's the name of the Pokemon? Scolipede. Fuck, what's that? What's the, what's the fucking wall called? Stack attack it. Jesus. I couldn't think of fucking stack attack his name. Alright, so, uh, Mammoth Swan destroys him. Thankfully, we didn't know this going in. He also has zero things 
for um, Coco, really. So that's fantastic. He uh, also did not bring his G-Max, so shout out to no G-Max fight. You'll love to see it. Um, yeah, G-Max was a mistake. Also, <coughs> yes, they're definitely seeing this after we announced it, but uh, apps are out for UPA Showdown. Fuck the acronym police if you're at all interested in joining our league for the Showdown division. Like, if you don't, if you don't have a capture card, you know, want to play some... Want to join the UPA? We have apps for that. Uh, come join our Discord server, and you can apply to join the Showdown Division. So, in terms of leads, he... I don't see how he doesn't just lose a Pokemon to Ruby, but he also kind of just loses a Pokemon to Beef. So, let's just lead off with Beef. We have Beef Wellington on the team. Um, that wasn't intentional at first, but then it immediately came uh, became intentional. So, things you love to see. That. We're just gonna leave up with a uh, choice band beef and see if we can uh, fucking smack the shit out of something. With it. So yeah, go check out mid. One of the uh, one of the OGs, one of my fucking one of one of just the best. One of just the best. I'm just gonna that's the end of the sentence. One of just the best. <laughs> so he's gonna end up leading off with the surface. So not exactly what you like to see. So question is though, if uh, if banded heavy slime kills, I'm clicking it. It does not if he has a fuck ton of HP. So will he have a fuck ton of HP? Maybe. It also doesn't kill if he has no HP, so. Maybe I just don't stay in here. It's probably the correct decision. I don't really switch into this Pokemon, that was the problem. I have Wellington though. We can go into Wellington. He can have Brave Bird, uh, which we will have to scout for, but he's not gonna click Brave Bird against an Aggron. There's, there's no heck in there. He's gonna go for a knock. That's fine. I can live with a knockoff. I did. Uh, 41 damage. That is not choice band, like, is anyone? Yeah, it could be Jolly Band, but probably just not choice band. Actually, no, that is definitely choice band. Because, uh, that is not adamant, um, uh, non-banded damage. That is Jolly Band damage, it looks like. Or it's just not max attack. I'm confusion. Hmm, weird. Maybe that's not- it, it's probably just not max attack. It's probably just not max attack. Completely max attack. Anyway. We'll just go back into beef. On the Brave Bird. I think he has to go- I think he goes for Brave Bird. Either way, I want to scout for the Brave Bird. If he doesn't click Brave Bird, it's fine, but I'll figure it out. He's gonna switch, okay. He, he might be twisting. I'm not sure, because the, the way the cow read, it just like- it didn't give me a good, you know, answer one way or the other, because it never gave me 41, so. He's, he's some sort of maybe not fully max attack, maybe not adamant. I don't know. I don't know what he is, but he, he's not max attack adamant, man. I know that for sure. And he's not Jolly Man. I know that for sure. So he gets to click Scald here, which is super annoying, but I'm just gonna go hard into Ruby. Because his Grass Resist is a Skullipede, which will not appreciate a Grass Draco, so. It's kinda, it's kinda cool. You know, you can kinda just go for a Grass Draco. He's gonna double. Into the set of fetching things. Okay. Sir Fetch. He takes a lot. If he's not max HP, I think he drops. It's a very good chance to just drop him if he's not max HP. But he's probably still max HP. Buggy dude. Grash Draco. I hate it here. <coughs> oh god, that hurt my throat. Oh, one, one, uh, surf edge. One, one, dies. I don't want one. Dies to the. Alright. Coco, do your thing, friend. Hopefully, he doesn't go Skullipede here. Because uh, that's a free protect and then things get a little bit messy. I should have just gone into Mammoth Swine, but I saw fast Coco and clicked fast Coco because uh small brain. He goes mute, okay, because of the mute. He has no electric resist, so we are I mean he has a Gashadon. He, he, he does in fact have a Gashadon. That is in fact a Pokemon that he has on his team. Let us not forget. 
I could go for Gleam to Scout. Gleam to Scout doesn't seem like a bad play. Thunderbolt does do like half though. But Gleam also puts Gastrodon in range of Gaspa if you saw Rindo Berry. He's gonna go hard Gastro. Gastrodon if he's physically defensive. I live one Earthquake. He's leftovers. Oh, he's dead. He's 100% dead. He's gonna have to scout for this, which whether or not he does is, you know, on him. He should. He definitely should. He's gonna stay in. Gonna get a grass on off, and that should kill perfect. Coco picks up KO on Gastro. We'd love to see it. Alright, now let's figure out how we're gonna choke this game, boys. Figure out how we're gonna choke this game. Still have yet to win uh, since week three in this league. So, fun. He's gonna bring in Mew again? Alright. I think I can just click Keeble here. Just kinda see what he wants to do. Takes a lot from that. I thought we were friends. You think you know a guy? You fucking you, you think you, you think you know a dude? You think you know a guy, and then he brings fucking cosmic power Mew? Come on, bro. You, you, you think you think you know a guy? Yeah, we 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 hang out and call. We talk a lot. We're homies, and then then he just goes and brings cosmic power Mew like it's nothing. I thought you were better than that, dude. Uh, but he has weakness policy, so that's um, a bit a bit problematic. Um, just, just, you know, uh, ever so slightly um, problematic. So, um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, he's gonna go for soft boiled. So we've seen soft boiled cosmic power. He's obviously going to have stored power. If his last move is not Earth Power or um, or Sphere, we might be okay. But I'm assuming it is going to be one of those two things. Because why would it not be one of those two things? It's probably going to be or Sphere. And I think I figured out how we throw this game. So, he goes for Cosmic Power. Okay, yeah, we will. Hmm. Sorry about your pal, I ran Darkest Lariat. <laughs> Thank Christ for Darkest Lariat being an absolutely fantastic move. My god, I am so glad I ran it over knockoff because that means we don't instantly lose to this. He has body press. Fuck. Live, 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 you son of a bitch. Oh, thank Christ. Thank the Lord. Body press is clean though. I like that. I respect that. Oh, thank god that killed. <laughs> Oh, thank Christ I killed. I'm not trying to lose to a fucking setup psychic type, bro. If you beat me with anything else on your team, that's cool. Like, you want to beat me with a fucking Skullipede or a Stack Attack, more power to you. Do not beat me with a goddamn setup psychic, alright? That's just disrespectful, okay? I've been to one now. Okay? I've been to one now. Um. So the problem here is, <clears throat> he either gets a Speed Buster free or he gets Sword Sands for free, depending on what I do. Like, I don't want to switch, but I also kind of want to keep Intimidate, you know? I have Beef Wellington. I'm not super worried about this. So, I think I just go for, uh, Flare Blitz. He's gonna Earthquake, okay. I was way more worried about, um, him Force Dancing there than I was him. Ooh. He's Life Orb? I... <coughs> so... In this situation, we can just go into uh, beef. He has no freaking rock resist. I mean, he has a stack attack. Is that really a resist? I'm not, I'm not so sure. Um, Agron versus stack attack. Okay, that is a okay. Okay, maybe, maybe there's a little bit of a rock resist, but um, 
Vamos aqui. Ah, he's smashing, boys. He's smashing. Let's see that. Are we ever gonna do anything else? I mean, we're gonna miss. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna miss. You love to see it. Goodbye. Agron goes. Uh, got to kill. First time actually doing something. You love to see it. Um, guys, to head smash lit. So he has stack attack it and grim snarl left. I think we go into Manny here. Just do some mammoth swine things. He's gonna bring in the ghost now. I... I'm sorry if he is just a dual screen set. Iron Head is the correct play most of the time. But also... He's more like offensive. I just think Earthquake is better all around. I think it's just better to go for Earthquake here. In case he wants to make the play into the other thing. This is still going to do a lot, obviously. Okay, that did not nearly enough. Okay. Well, in that case, I think my play is going into Nose Beers. Never even done cocaine. Sorry. Shout out to uh, Little Deacon. Actually, no. Fuck that. Shout out to Brain. <laughs> Uh, this game is not over because Stack Attacka is still a Stack Attacka, so um, that could be a little bit problematic. I don't know if he actually goes for Life Stream here, but he'll go for it next turn, which is fine. He goes for Darkest Lariat. I... It's in my best interest to waste as many turns as possible, so I don't think I click. Um, I think I go for Gas Basically. Just to waste turns. There's the light screen. That's cool with me. So. That of course does nothing, but that's uh, kind of the point. We don't really want to be doing that right now. I'll T-Bolt right now. Coming for a spirit break. It's a little bit annoying. A little bit, not gonna lie. Okay, so he has how many turns of reflect left? Alright, so between one and four? Yeah. So we go for Gleam here. He's gonna switch. Okay. Switches now. Okay, 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 okay. That's disgusting. That, that's just disrespectful to someone, for sure. He is air balloon. Pop that balloon. Let's pop that balloon. For a real muggle. Uh, I, I, I apologize for that one. That was, that was, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's a trick room. So, stack attacker, max HP, with a reflect up. Should potentially still be in range if he's just max HP. He has two turns left on reflex. Stone Edge does nothing. He's not banded, obviously. So he's Life Orb. Gyro does 2 AKO this, so... I think I just have to go for CC. And hope it's in range. There's a Gyro Ball. I will 2 AKO this. So we just have to hope we put it, put it in range. Ah, uh, okay. 
Shout out to Buzzwool coming through for the boys. Stack attacker goes down. And all he has left is the Grimstarl. Which we have a Coco and a Mammoth Swine that can hit super effectively. And we can also hit it super effectively with this. So we might be okay. We might have done it, boys. We might have broken the longest losing streak of my fucking career. Maybe. <laughs> Don't count your chickens before they hatch, motherfucker. There's a spare break, so he's gonna kill this. That's fine. Muscle's gonna go down. Grim's gonna pick up one. His reflect goes away. Um, Mammoth Swine is definitely the play here. Put Trick Room still up. Because Coco can definitely win without Trick Room. It's just with it up, we should probably go into Memo. We can click Earthquake here. Um, does he live? After the reflect, I don't think it doesn't matter. He gets to get from Drake anyway. I think we're fine. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm paranoid. All right, I've lost way too many goddamn games recently to you know say anything before the fucking game is actually over. So we get our kick off. No reflect. We're life orb. He's in yellow health. We fucking did it. Holy shit, boys, we won a game. Oh my god, it feels so damn good. Uh, unfortunately, it had to be against my boy mid, or I guess fortunately, it was against a homie. So like, it's not you know. I'm, not beating like an actual human being, you know. <laughs> okay, that was somehow worse than anything I could have said. Listen, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it feels really fucking good to finally win a game. It's been so goddamn long. So just to put it in perspective, I have not won a game since week three in UPA. So week four, five, six. Uh, this is week seven. So I have not won a game in four weeks here. I have not won a game in NCP since fucking week two. We're going into week eight right now, uh, and then, or no, we're going into week fucking nine. I haven't won there. And then in fucking NC, or in BBR, I have not won since week one. We're going into week eight. So it's been a goddamn minute since I've won a fucking game. So it feels really good to finally get back on track. And maybe, you know, we can, you know, turn the momentum around a little bit. We still got time to make playoffs in some of my leagues. So we can still, you know, turn it around, make a couple playoff runs. You know, we can still, we can still turn this uh, batch of leagues around and maybe... Turn it into something. Who the hell knows? But uh, GG to mid. Go check him out. He's one of my absolute uh, favorite people. And I highly, highly encourage you guys to go watch him. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.